It's 1230, sunny with partial cloud coverage and a high of 10 degrees right now and dropping to 11 degrees tonight. I'm Cynthia Paulo, Say Radio News. Election Day is finally here. After months of hearing from the candidates, voters will be able to cast their ballots in the municipal election. Residents will be deciding whether or not the Fords will continue in office or if a new mayor will be elected. Polls are open today from 10 to 8 p.m., so be sure to take a valid piece of ID when voting. There will be a public visitation today for the slain Ottawa soldier, Corporal Nathan Cirillo. Mourners who wish to pay tribute to the soldier will have a chance to do so in his hometown. Visitations will be held at Marquis Dermody Funeral Home from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. in Hamilton. Cirillo was fatally shot on Wednesday while standing guard at the War Memorial on Parliament Hill in Ottawa. The CBC is facing a lawsuit from former Q radio host Jan Gomeshi. Gomeshi claims he was fired from CBC's radio show because of his private sex life. He posted on Facebook yesterday that an angry ex-girlfriend and a freelance writer teamed up together to defame him. CBC spokesman refused to comment because of the pending lawsuit. And sentencing begins today for the man who killed three Mounties in June. Justin Burke is facing three counts of first-degree murder and two counts of attempted murder. Crown lawyer Cameron Gunn argues that Burke should not be granted parole for at least 75 years. He claims that each murder conviction carries a mandatory life sentence and a 25-year ban on applying for parole. Gunn wants the conviction to impose the ban consecutively, meaning Burke would not be allowed to apply for parole until he is 99 years old. Sports and weather are next on Say Radio. Say Radio Sports. The Toronto Blue Jays have parted ways with their hitting coach Kevin Seitzer after only one year. The team says it was unable to come to terms on a contract with Seitzer, who was appointed on October 31st of last year. And the Giants beat the Royals 5-0 for a 3-2 lead in the World Series. Brandon Crawford drove in three home runs, and Juan Perez hit a two-run double for the Giants, who are looking to become only the second team to win three titles in a five-year span. Say Radio Weather. It will continue sunny with partial clouds and a high of 12 today, dropping to a low of 11 tonight. Tomorrow we can expect some warmer weather with a high of 20 degrees, but there is a chance of rain, so make sure to take an umbrella with you. Right now it's 10 degrees. I'm Cynthia Paulo, Say Radio News.